there's, there's, a, there's a bigger theme here. People are afraid of people with beards. Whether they actually have beards or, or not. Um, so I wrote this poem. And it's the last one I'll do tonight. Watch out, everybody. The beardies are a come coming. Their footsteps in unison sound like a drum drumming. Why don't you all have a look at these weird beardies? No, really, have a look, see. While I think of what rights to take away from you in the name of our security. There's tall beardies, short beardies, fat beardies too. Brown beardies, black beardies, and that's just to name a few. <laughs> beards and hijabs, skinny tights beardies, and beards and niqabs are also on that list. But that's not all of them, because all kinds of beardies exist. It's the beardies you can thank if you want to know why you're not free. Keep an eye on them, please, or else you'll need me. We've thrown beardies in jail, we've thrown beardies in the sea, and thanks to technology, killing beardies is as easy as one, two, three. There are old beardies, young beardies, and infant beardies involved. And until we deal with these beardies, these problems won't be solved. There are beardies born here, and beardies born abroad, and there are beardies with ginger beards, and I think that just looks a bit odd. Um, <laughs> There are beardies with goats, and beardies with sheep, and there are beardies that help religious laws creep. There are beardies with two legs, and beardies with four. Quick, everyone, look back, I see a beardie at the door! <laughs> Oops, it seems like that was a false alarm, but I'm not sorry. There was a 5% chance of a, be a beardie being there, so things could have gone slightly awry. You know what a beardie is thinking by looking at that beard? It'll tell you who they dislike and who they revered. Some beardies wear jeans, and some beardies wear burqas. That's exactly what one of those does. And I must reiterate, a surefire death is what you get when you forget that beardies are a security threat. But allow me to lighten the mood, and tell you for your protection, that to that rule there's actually one exception. So listen close, dear brothers and sisters. You don't have to worry about white beardies, because they're just probably hipsters. <laughs> anyway, let us get back to our little security brief. Don't for a moment think the beardies will give you any relief, because beardies are fundamentally informed by misbelief that they must harm and kill those with different beliefs. There are beardies with money and beardies without it, and there are a few beardies who spend all their time talking about it. There are beardies with big hands and beardies with small feet, and there are beardies that pretend to talk sweetly. But I must remind you that beardies want you dead. I'm a security expert, so I don't care what you've read. The beardies are everywhere, and you need to neutralize this threat, and you owe us your rights in advance. We believe that's your debt. I'm sad to inform you that there are many beardies in this room. So keep an eye on those around you in case something goes BOOM! <laughs> I must say though, that one type of beardie should be especially feared. And I'm serious, and that beardie lies amongst us. And it's the one that has no beard. Thumbs up! <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> <laughs> Just letting you guys know in case we get sued or anything. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, guys.